So we're going to start off this next section of gratitude with a story. And it's a bit of a difficult story that takes place over 2,000 years ago. And is a story I grew up hearing from my mom, uh, my dad a little bit, and it has to do with a disease called leprosy. Has anyone heard of this disease, leprosy? It's not that common anymore, thankfully, but it's a very harsh disease, a very depressing disease, because if you got this disease, it meant your life was basically over as you knew it. And what happened when you got leprosy is that your body became so fragile and so sick that your parts of your body would literally start falling off if you, you know, fell down or if you bumped into someone. And you would also get um, these large boils. Your skin would basically just start overreacting to everything. And it was extremely contagious. So if you just touch someone with leprosy, you could also get that disease. And so what happened was you were also excommunicated from community. You were removed from society and you had to live with uh, a, a bunch of other lepers who were also sick. And so this was a very harsh disease and a very dangerous disease and a very painful disease. And definitely if you got it, you would end up dying from it within a short period of time. And so the story goes that there were 10 lepers, people that had leprosy, and they came across the prophet Jesus 2,000 years ago. And the, what the prophet Jesus said, the lepers asked, can you heal us? And he said, go to the temple and you will be healed. And so the 10 uh, lepers went to the temple and on their way, they miraculously were healed. They completely returned to normal. They had no defects. Nothing was wrong with them. And so can you imagine how many of those lepers went back to say thank you to Jesus? Maybe 10, maybe all 10 you would think, uh, at least nine. I mean, this is the most significant thing that's ever happened to them. They've gotten a second chance at life. But the reality is only one came back. And Jesus said, we're not 10 healed. What happened to the other nine? And, you know, the reality is that people are not very good at saying thank you. And this is a very long, old problem that we have of not expressing gratitude. And of course, those other nine were grateful. Of course, they were deeply, deeply thankful about the miracle that had happened. In fact, it really changed their lives, literally. But for whatever reason, they didn't show that gratitude. They didn't express that gratitude. And so the prophet Jesus was just thinking that they were not that grateful, or he didn't feel the gratitude like he did for the one person that came back. And so fast forward 2,000 years, you would think, you know, we've evolved as society, we've gotten better, we've become... Uh, more mature humans, but unfortunately, that might not be the case. So, taking the Amul internships, for example, and a question I have for you, how many thank you emails do you think we got after we had conducted 140, uh, approximately 140 interviews, final round interviews? How many emails do you think that we received? But the answer is pretty small. It means approximately four. Four out of 140 sent the follow-up emails. And again, I don't think it's because people felt ungrateful. I don't think it's because people weren't thankful about the opportunity or excited to become a part of the Amo Fellowship. But for whatever reason, we're not good at showing that gratitude. We're not good at expressing it. We're not good at actually following up and saying thank you. There's an author, a famous author. His name is uh, Arthur William Ward. Uh, sorry, William Arthur Ward. And he said that feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. 
feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. It doesn't do much good to the recipient. You might feel grateful, you might know you feel grateful, but if you don't actually give it, then that other person won't know. 